dear students assalamu alaikum welcome to army public school pma resource network students i am your teacher safina jahan zeb before we start our today's subject which is science please subscribe the page and click the bell icon students in our today's subject we are going to discuss about the third chapter or unit of the book which is heat and temperature students today we will discuss about the heat we will thoroughly discuss all points which relate the heat dear students today we are going to discuss unit number of 3 of the book and the name of this unit is heat and temperature students we will discuss all main points related to the heat and temperature objectives of today's lecture will be number 1 we will describe about heat then we will discuss how can heat be produced afterwards we will define some those common sources of heat and in the last we will discuss and list uses of heat so students we will try to focus all these points in every aspect now here we will discuss about the importance of heat which are existing in different forms students everyone probably knows something about heat we often use this word to describe something that feels hot when we touch it or to describe a hot day here we have two diagrams where two different source of heat is existing in diagram number 1 the source of energy or the source of heat is sunlight in this diagram different types of organisms are existing and for each organism sunlight or sun energy is very essential students as we know in the presence of sunlight plants are able to make their food in the presence of sunlight all types of organisms and animals are able to maintain their body temperature so in this way we can say that sunlight or heat is very important for all types of organisms here in this second picture an other source of energy is fire fire is very important in different aspects the radiations which is being produced by fire it keeps us warm in extreme winter days through this fire we are able to warm or cook our food so heat energy is very essential in different aspects and to keep on all daily activities students now we are going to discuss or define about the heat 
What is heat? Heat is basically a form of energy. Heat energy always travels from a warmer substance or body to a colder substance or body. The heat produces from a campfire is a form of energy. Students, if we observe that when we hold a cup of warm tea with both hands, how do we feel? Students, our hands will feel warm. This warmth is heat. Heat is a form of energy. Same like this. When we sit near the burning fire, students, after some times, we feel ourselves warm. So students, in this way we can say, heat energy travels or transfers from a warmer substance or warmer body to a colder body. Now we are going to discuss about the transfer of heat from hot to cold body. In this slide we have a diagram where two different bodies are present in different colors. The first body which is in red color, it shows a warmer object or body. Other one which is in blue color, it shows a cooler object or body. Students, initially the temperature of the warmer object is very high, whereas the temperature of cooler object is low. But when heat transfers or travels from warmer objects towards the cooler object, slowly and gradually the temperature of the cooler object will be raised. So it shows that Heat energy travels from a warmer object towards a cooler object and in this way the temperature of the cooler object will be raised. Students, now we are going to discuss about the movement of particles between hot and cold bodies. First of all, we will define it through a diagram. Here we have two cylinders. In cylinder A we have hot water and in cylinder B we have cold water. Students, we can see the movement of particles in hot water is very high. So, whenever the particle of any body move very rapidly, it shows that the temperature of that body will be very high and it will generate energy. Whereas in other body, which is cold water, the movement of particle is very slow. So, in this way we can say it generates less energy due to the slow movement of particles. So, in any cold body, particle vibrates or moves very slowly so it has less energy. Whereas, in hot water, particles move very rapidly so these swift movement of particles increase the temperature and generates energy. Students, 
Now we are going to discuss some those important sources of heat which are very essential for all types of living organisms. We can say anything that produces heat is a source of heat. There are many sources of heat like natural sources and artificial sources of heat. Students, the main and major source of heat is sun. Without the presence of sunlight or sun energy, life is not possible over the earth. So students, in this way, we can say that sunlight is very essential for all types of living organisms. Second, the biggest source of heat is fire. Students, we use this fire for different activities. We use this fire to keep us warm in winter season. And the third main source of heat is gas stove. We use this gas stove to prepare our food and to fulfill all types of daily activities. So students, now we will discuss all these important sources of heat one by one in next slide. Students, now we are going to discuss the main source of heat which is very essential for all types of organisms is sun. So, sun is the most important source of heat for all types of living beings. No life can exist without the presence of sunlight. Sunlight is very essential to keep on all life cycles. Sun energy or sunlight is very essential for plants and it is very essential for animals. Students, as we know, plants make their food, the process which is called photosynthesis, in the presence of sunlight. So, if the sunlight or sun energy is not present, plants will not be able to make their food. Same like this, for animals to keep their body temperature normal, it is very essential the presence of sunlight. Students, in this diagram, we can see that Every organism which is existing over the earth is, the sunlight is very necessary. For plants, sunlight is very important because in this light they can make their food. Other all types of animals, the sunlight is very essential. Even it is very important for all types of microbiotic organisms. So, in this way, we can say that the presence of sunlight is very important for all types of organisms and it is the basic source of heat. Students, now we are going to discuss the second main source of heat which is very important for all life purposes is fire. Students, all types of burning fuels such as wood, wax, charcoal, oil, petroleum also produce heat. These are very important to carry on all life processes. Students, 
we can use fire for light purpose we use fire to keep ourselves warm in winter season and we use these burning fuels for all types of daily activities which are very necessary to fulfill so in this way we can say that this source of heat is also very important to carry on all types of activities now there are some other artificial sources of heat which are also very important to carry on all types of daily activities students here are some artificial sources of heat or energy which we commonly use in our lives are gas stove heaters warm water or water heaters rubbing two objects friction oven toaster iron coffee maker so these electrical home appliances generate heat to fulfill all daily requirements now we will discuss about the uses of heat how much heat is useful in our lives heat is important to all aspects of life especially for plants and animals some common uses of heat are to help plants to make food keep us warm in winters to cook and warm up food needed to dry our clothes refreshing shower with hot water and to generate electricity students in diagram number 1 we can see that sunlight is very essential for all types of plants in the presence of sunlight plants are able to make their food so we can say that sunlight or sun energy is very essential for these type of organisms in other two pictures we can see that to carry on all types of daily chores sunlight or sun energy is very important we can cook and warm up our food and in the presence of sun light we can dry our clothes students now i'm going to conclude my today's lecture with some productive activities through these activities we will be able to know that how much we have gained from today's lecture students in activity number 1 we have some items about which we have to decide that whether these items are heat generator or not those item which are heat generator we have to click tick mark in front of that items and in third column we have to decide about the energy source of that item so students attempt this activity at home students now we have the last activity of the day which is activity number 2 in this activity we have to answer some questions and write down answers of these question in notebooks question number 
how do your hands feel when you touch a hot object such as a hot cup of coffee question number 2 how can you tell if something is a source of heat and question number 3 how can heat be produced students hopefully today's lecture was productive and informative for all students so now i want to say goodbye with these words please keep remember me in your prayers and allah is